What's good, Ravens fam? So, um, Stephen A. Smith, stay hating, man. It's just, just, all right, I'm finna play this clip. The first part of it is, um, Ryan Clark. He's the only one, in my opinion, through that, through that debate. Well, speaking facts. So here we go. Odell Beckham Jr., just the evolution in one week for me makes me feel good. And so now when you're going to look at the entire division, everything Stephen A. said is right about Josh Allen and why Josh Allen has a chance. So are we saying those things don't give Lamar Jackson a chance? Don't give a team with the defense led by Mike McDonald, the defense coordinator, who can shut down people, who can pressure people when Marcus down. Williams and Marlon Humphreys out? It don't give that team a chance? I feel like we're starting to grade Dominated. Lamar Jackson and Baltimore performances the way we used to look at Floyd Mayweather's fights. Oh my God, Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather had a split decision. He didn't throw a lot of punches. He's losing it. It's not great. Shannon said it. It's about winning. It's about beating a That's team in your division that sent you home last year. I think the Baltimore Ravens are moving in the right direction of being really good. It's about health and understanding that our bread is buttered in the run game. Okay, y'all. Before I let Stephen A., um, before I hit the play on the Steve and A haterosity, um, I've got to do the intro. Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. And we're back. Okay, so. Back to listening to Stephen A. Hater. And he said this one part. He said the Ravens always had pieces. Yeah. Well, I hear you, RC. It, I, it doesn't mean I don't have any reason to be weary, though. What I mean by that is that certainly with Odell Beckham Jr. being there, you expected him to be a primary target, and now he's got another injury this time for his ankle. We hope that he's going to be okay. Zay Flowers in the spectacular, his 52-yard catch, we were very, very pleased with that. We know they got him. Nelson Aguilar, yeah. having a guy that like him to rely upon, he's pretty damn good. Not great, but pretty damn good. Mark Andrews, we know what he brings to the table. He ain't on the level of you and, and, and Gronk and Kelsey and others, but Mark Andrews is pretty damn good. We get all of that. But we also got to take into account that the Ravens have been in the playoffs, what, about twice? Or they've got like two playoff victories since they won the Super Bowl over mm -hmm. you know, a decade ago. We got to take a look at that. We got to take a look at the climate that existed last year when Lamar Jackson was looking for his money and how there was some, some trepidation as, as it pertained to the culture that existed and the way guys were turning on one another. Remember J.K. Dobbins last year in the playoffs, they lose to Cincinnati. I should have had the ball more, but you called the sneak for Huntley. He falls up, fumbles the ball, gets returned 100 yards for a touchdown. We've yeah. seen religiously we've looked at the Ravens and said they have enough right now maybe not enough to win a Super Bowl but they have enough they're very formidable they're rough riders they're experienced they're separately mm. well coached with experience blah 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 we've talked about them not to this degree but in similar fashion in terms of their formidability and yet they've turned around and disappointed us so to me I say there's a reason to be weary because I'm looking at them they have pieces but they've always had pieces right and we they have my cap going on right now. They have my cap. They have my cap going on right now. They have my cap. They're right there. They've always had pieces. Name me the pieces that Lamar Jackson has had. Lamar Jackson with no pieces last year before he got injured. I believe the Ravens were number one in the AFC. But then when get injured, everything goes downhill. Continue. Still found ourselves scratching our heads saying, how come they can't get over the hump? And I think this year, because of the way we're talking about them, particularly with the acquisition of OBJ and Zay Flowers, okay, I think we're looking at them now and we're saying to ourselves, Mr. Harbaugh, it's time. It's time again. I think the thing is, though, Stephen A., is that when we looked at him over the last couple of years, Lamar Jackson went down. 
Yep. I don't think once Lamar Jackson went down, anybody thought the Baltimore Ravens was going to yeah. make any noise. Okay. No matter because the, court, the, the the offense was so reliant on the quarterback, mm-hmm. and he was the only one that could do what he did. Yeah. Although the backup came in and did an a admirable job at times, Lamar Jackson is very unique in his skill set. And so there's no replicating that. And so when OBJ goes down, you have a Zay Flowers, you have a DuVernay, you have a Nelson Aguilar who can pick up some of the slack. But I, I think the expectations are rightfully so. When Lamar Jackson, who's a former MVP, he, when he makes the type of money that he makes, that kind of uh, uh, pressure should be on his shoulders and he should be able to deliver. Yeah, we expect a lot of these guys, once yeah. you start getting in that plateau where you $40, 50000000 million, mm-hmm. the expectation should greatly increase. Yeah. All right, now... I'm going to speak about what Shannon Sharp said on that video uh, later on about what you're making and what you should be doing. I'm going to speak about that later. But the fact that just Stephen A just hates on this man so much. Undisputed, I give Keyshawn props. I give uh, Richard and Skip, they props. They praise Lamar. They didn't talk about what was happening in the past. They talking about recent they ain't talking about last year they talked about recent how good he did how he was dotting them up they kept replaying the nelly pass they kept replaying the zay pass they kept saying that look he's in the pocket look we know he has a cannon look we know he has accuracy beasting and this is only just the beginning. This is only just the beginning. We've only just begun. It's going to get better. They ain't even hit the peak yet. They haven't even unleashed Zay Flowers yet. They unleashed them a little bit in the second half. That's why I kept saying in my in my stream. I said they ain't really giving it to Zay like that in that first half. They got something planned. Even Zay said himself. He told Lamar, hey, just chunk that much, trust me. And we all know if you if Lamar don't trust you, he you ain't getting the ball. That right there showed that catch. Showed Lamar, hey, I got your back, bro. I'm one of them. So hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.